Today is the day that some of you have been waiting for, and that is, we'll do some actual rotated polygon collisions between our two little objects. I'll show you what we're talking about. Let's get started right now. So, what I want to do first is let's, uh, just for fun, let's add a circle collider to our missile just to prove that we can do it. Oops. Sorry, that's not the right place. We want to be in test.lua, not the comparison. <laughs> so let's add a circuit collider, and it will be the size, the radius will of course be uh, the same here as the largest radius, which will do the 62. And that should give us, now as simple as that, except I need a comma, as simple as that, we will have ourselves a circuit collider around our missile. And as you know, Currently, these circle colliders do nothing. Uh, neither does the polygon collider. We, they are not, they don't respond, they don't do anything. They don't, they're just drawings, really. We're just drawing the positions of them. But that does serve to tell us that we are indeed cal co uh, calculating them correctly. They are all rotated correctly and all of that type of thing. So, um, with that in mind, I'm going to remove the circle collider from both of our entities, our player and our missile. Let's go ahead and say missile entity. And we'll say here, we'll say player entity. About that. I love it. It looks fantastic, yes. Okay, so, and we set the target of our missile here, of course. Set the missile's target to the player. I'm just kind of cleaning things up a little bit. Now, something else. Uh, let's get rid of this, because we're not doing this any longer. We don't need these items. <clears throat> Instead, what we should be able to do is do something very similar to this here. So, let's grab this, put it here, and we'll Look at the same thing, except instead of these, we want the self dot player dot polygon collider dot, and we want the world vertices, and then we want self dot p dot or dot e. That's the enemy dot polygon collider dot world vertices uh, vertices so then if we have a collision uh, let's see what we what we get here oh, of course yes s i got my s didn't i now all right so i'm going to bring this over and you can see we have a print somewhere that is a rogue print i want to get rid of that print whatever it is print probably in the Oh, probably in the, not the main menu, not main.lua, right here, Polygon Collider. We don't need that any longer. That's some debug remnants. We don't like debug remnants, I'll just tell you. Let's rerun. I'll pull the window over here, and when we collide, we should see something. So let's see if we can get a, a, a plain old collision. Let's see what the separation vector is. So the separation vector is saying... Well, it was saying until it just, let's do this again. So it should say, a, give us a one when we penetrate. It's giving us a negative one. So I think that our separation vector that we are sending in the SAT here, the minimum separation, uh, minimum pen penetration axis, I believe we should uh, invert that. So all that would require would be this. Um, we'll say uh, invert the penetration axis to point away from the, and really, you know, it just depends what, uh, let's say, or wait, a point away from mm, poly 2 so that. Uh, 
<clears throat> really this is all um it's all relative so the penetration axis will point away from poly 2 so that we can use it to separate poly 1 or so that it is in relation to moving poly 1 out of collision just say that so we could come in here and we could say well if we collided then what we could do is we could self step dot p dot transform dot x equals the minimum separation unit vector x times and we just want to say the amount and we'll do that for y so basically we're going to move that out let's see what that looks like oh yes no that should never be so it's telling me that's nil right there print min penetration axis you're telling me that's nil that shouldn't be nil and it we should never get out of that let's print the number of axes here also we have eight axes <coughs> and we are still getting through this so it's saying that well, there's no way we're overlapping everything perhaps we're incorrect here let's print this is going to be nasty looking print p1 min p1 max 2 min 2 max uh, look at that they're all nans Okay, we've got something screwy here then. I guess you could say that some of these values are not, and I guess they're not when we start out, are they? Go back to test. So are all these, these world vertices should all be just zeros. Let's just print, I want to see if there's even a table here. There should be, we should have already, yeah, there's a table. Okay. We have a few issues here. I think we could, I think it would work, will work, but we, I'd like to, I'd like to do that here. Because it, it makes more sense to me to have it in relation to polygon one, the minimum penetration axis. Actually, we could say that, oh, We'll have to come back to this, but what uh, what we'll just do is we'll just do the f uh, we'll just negate them here because really the minimum penetration axis will tell us how much the polygon one is penetrating into polygon two. So the direction will be reversed to back it back out, and then if we do following, then we are not. Oh. <laughs> we must say following also it's one of those things that i am not used to so now this should work and you can see we are indeed colliding with these 
with the rectangles. So that's wonderful. Beautiful. And uh, we're getting all sorts of just beautiful data right here. Um, but let's comment this out. And we still have an issue with these NANs. At the very beginning, you didn't see them because I was, I had, I can drag them back up. See those? I'm not sure what's going on. Why are those on the first update? We should have already, this is test, super update. So the, let's look at the scene here. Yeah, so the entity manager should have already updated everything. So we should have world vertices. And certainly not a, let's see, where, AT. <clears throat> Let me print, this is, dis this disturbs me, it shouldn't, we shouldn't have that not a number stuff going on. Um, here, let's do this. So this will, let's just assert. This should not be nil here. So we'll just, we're just gonna make it stop. Oh, not equal. We'll make it stop here. Excellent. That way we can see what's going on here. We actually have a table for these polygons or the polygon points let's see if there is an x actual x value here there is let's go further and print the y value so we're saying that ah yes i see <clears throat> So if our axes are basically if we have z if we yeah, hmm. let's print the axis here because I, what I'm seeing is if we have in which we do at the very beginning we have a bunch of nothing which maybe that's not the right way to initialize it to be honest our axes are also well of course they're yeah of course they're nothing because these are uh, all zeros so our axes are going to be there's not going to be anything um and maybe we should check this so um let's say uh if normal dot x is not equal to zero or normal dot y is not equal to zero then then we add the edge to our edge normals then we should get a different error here because i'm see i see what's going on um I know what all these NANs are. We know why they're there because we are, and perhaps we just assume assume that these are going to be correct. What uh, is going on is our, our polygon. Where is our polygon collider? You see, we're doing this. Actually, right here. You see, you see the issue. We we we're, we're not You know what we could do here is we could just say hey look self update and then that would go away except the fact that we can't do the update because we need the transform and we don't have it 
but we could do let's let's break this out um function pc calculate scale or let's see mm, scale translate yeah we'll just call it that and we'll put our stuff in there and from here we'll say self scale translate we'll do the same on start so that we can have a actual set of stuff and that my friends actually works so basically uh, what was going on, if I didn't explain it well enough, was we had all of the vectors set to zero here. And then on start, we just simply grabbed the transform. We didn't have this on here. Then on update, we did this, the, this, this update. But before that, we were calling this SAT Collide. And it was trying to create these edge normals and edge normals from a bunch of zero vectors no, you know no direction at all is going to be a bunch of not a num not no numbers it's just nans not numbers um this way things are much nicer uh so we've separated this scale translate out here and then on start we basically fill the the world vertices with something uh that's real instead of zeros which will which mess us up when we go into the sat stuff and we start to try to get the edge normals from a bunch of zero vertices it's going to be just it's going to be junk um you know we could say uh if Did mag did we did we do a magnitude function for our vector twos? Let's look and see. Rotate copy normal unit multiply didn't do yes we did magnitude right there. So we're just returning a square. Okay, that's what we want. If edge magnitude uh greater than zero, then add to your edge normals. Otherwise it's not a valid edge normal. That should still work. Let's go and run into him. Here we have to be careful is he's pushing us. We're pushing against him. Hmm. Interesting. We can run through him. That's that's an odd deal right there. See strange. Why can I move up through him? I need him to be still. That's really what I need to do. Where is the missile? Let's make the missile still. We'll leave this in here. We'll say, um, check if the edge is valid, i.e. magnitude is greater than zero. Okay, and let's go back to test. And that's all commented out, which is good. And then I need to get rid of some more prints because there were some more prints. Yes, right here. We were printing those. We no longer need to do that. And yeah. Uh, okay. Missile, please. Mm, missile. <laughs> Now the missile will update, but let's comment all of the update out so that we can run into the missile however we desire. Oops, you do see that. That works. That doesn't work. This works. So the question is why it pushes you all the way
Do these two sides work? Do we can't we can't go down there. We've got the from the from the right and from the top pushing down. It won't work. it won't let us through. But if we do that way, then we get some weird stuff going on. Let's look at test and let's remove those negatories and see if now we can uh, then of course this way will be it. Interesting. Barry! Interesting. Hmm. Well, I think we'll check on this and we will uh, leave this here until the next episode. So what we need to do is determine what's going on with the penetration calculations such that, because it should be, I think it's just based on Because it's pushing us all the way. Try that again. It's pushing us all the way down here. Which. I wouldn't call that the minimum penetration axis. <laughs> uh, the overlap. Of course, the overlap for those two, if they're aligned like that, will be the same, right? All right, we'll, uh, we'll take this up next episode. See you then.